Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of OpenCart single page checkout plugin. Now this particular plugin provides an ease of single page checkout thereby reducing the number of steps required in the checkout process for the users. Within the plugin the customers get only one button for confirming the order with no more continue buttons as uh, was there in the default system. The customers can also redeem coupons and vouchers at the time of checkout. Apart from that, the customers will be able to add new shipping and billing address information on the single checkout page itself. The plugin works for both the customers as well as guest users. The guest users have the option of placing the order as a guest or getting registered via the single page checkout on the page itself and then placing the order at the same time there. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be just taking you through the walkthrough uh, of the plugin that's the open card single page checkout at the customer's end. And then we'll be seeing if uh, what uh, different configuration settings are there in the admin backend panel as well. But before we proceed further, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now you can see that I'm at the uh, one of the product pages that's the Canon EOS 5D and if I scroll up you can see that I've not logged into my customer account as well. So let's first log into the customer account and then we'll see the work from the customer's end. So here I'll be entering my username password tapping on the sign in button. Let's go back to the desktop uh, category there and let's go to the Canon EOS uh, 5D once again. So let me choose one of the options there and let me add the, this particular product into the cart thereafter. So you can see that uh, one item has been added into the cart. Now if I tap here on the checkout button, you'll be able to see the single page uh, checkout uh, page itself. So here we have the checkout. Here you can see on the left hand side we have the payment address, shipping address, shipping methods, payment methods. On the right hand side we have the shopping cart itself uh, showing the different uh, options there and uh, lastly we have the confirm order button on the same page so from here the customers can make use of uh, their already uh, existing address as well for the payment address there they can choose that if they want uh, they can add a new address by selecting the i want to use new address then they can enter the details here within the same and can proceed further with the checkout there same goes for the shipping address as well if you already have an existing address you can choose it up or you have uh, multiple saved addresses you can choose any one of them otherwise if you want to add a new address you just need to check the option that's the i want to use a new address set up your details there and you can proceed further with the checkout thereafter then under the shipping methods you can choose your uh, personalized uh, shipping method that you want to choose as per your own requirement there the same goes for the payment methods from the list of the payment methods you can ch choose the payment method that you want to make use of for placing the order there and on the right hand side you'll find the shopping cart within that you will find your products that are there if you have any coupon code you can apply that as well on the same page if you have any gift certificate uh, you can enter that particular gift certificate uh, uh, code as well to apply the gift certificate there and uh, lastly you'll have to uh, uh, check the terms and conditions itself and then you can tap here on the confirm order button to place the order so you can see that now this uh, uh, open guard checkout is a single checkout uh, uh, page now from where uh, the customers can directly check their payment address shipping address choose the shipping methods payment methods and uh, thereafter they can tap on the confirm order button to confirm the order so i've just tapped here on the confirm order button and the order would then be placed you can see that the order has been placed and now if i go to my order history i can check my order history there this was the order number 275 that we just uh, placed and uh, here's our product that's the canon us 5d so that's how easily the uh, registered users or the customers can make use of the single page checkout now let me log out of the account there and uh, now let me show you how a guest user would be able to uh, place the orders using the uh, open card single page checkout uh, plugin itself so let's go back to the desktops category there and let me add the same product once again into the cart so i'll just choose the uh, option add to cart the or uh, the item has been added into the cart now you can see here that i've not logged in right so i'll just tap here on the checkout button and we'll see the single page checkout itself so here's the checkout now 
um, this is a single page checkout for the uh, guest users there now here you can see that right now uh, the register account option is in the green color so uh, what happens in this case is that if you've uh, selected the register account uh, or if I have for example chosen the guest checkout if I've chosen the guest checkout then I don't need to create an account and uh, then place the order uh, I can just enter the uh, personal details here my address I can choose the shipping method payment method and I can then confirm the terms and conditions and tap on the confirm order button to place a order place the order as a guest customer otherwise if I uh, want to register as well at the same time when I place the order then I can tap here on the register account now in this case what you need to do is you need to enter your personal details your password your address there and then choose the shipping method payment methods and then place the order by tapping here the confirm order and that would uh, create an account uh, for you as well for the guest user and place the order as well at the same time for example let's go ahead and let me enter the details here and uh, let me change the email address here this at uh, webcool12.com and uh, thereafter let me enter the password let me confirm the password uh, let me choose the details here for my address as you can see and I'll choose California for the time being and I'll choose free shipping and I'll choose cash on delivery on the same page and then I'll be confirming the order so that's how a uh, guest user can register as well as well as uh, place the order at the same time uh, using the open guard single page uh, checkout uh, plugin so you can see that uh, I've been registered as well and I can check the order history I'll be having only one order because the account has been also created as well as the order has been placed for the guest customer so you can see that I've logged in as well let's log out and uh, let me once again go to the checkout page there and uh, let me add this product into the cart I'll select the option there and uh, I'll just tap here on the checkout button so that's how easy this particular uh, plugin works that's the open card single page checkout and i hope this helped you out in understanding the flow of the same right now let's see what different uh, configuration settings are there for this particular plugin in the admin backend panel so for that i'll just tap here on the uh, backend to navigate to the backend of the open card web store there and here i'll be entering my username password and tapping on the login button to uh, log into the admin backend panel there now after login in i have to navigate through extensions and extension here i'll be choosing the extension type as modules and here we'll have to go to the single seller checkout or the single page checkout sorry for that single page checkout and i'll have to tap here on the edit button and then from here uh, the uh, web store admin can enable or disable the single page checkout uh, feature for his web store by choosing it as enabled otherwise to disable it you can choose this option as disabled so yes that was much about the uh, plugin itself and i hope that it helped you out in understanding the flow of the same if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.us.com apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.